Hey guys, what is cracking? Hope you're having a great day. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom character in Roblox. Uh, it's not too hard. I'm going to try to make it really simple, really easy for you guys to understand. Um, yeah, uh, let's get into it. So basically a custom character is a new character that overrides your Roblox character so you can play as a different... I guess you can just play as a different avatar. You have a different avatar in the game, which is really cool that yeah, you can do that. So first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to, sh I'm just going to show you... If we search up custom character, I'm oh, sorry, we're gonna, up, we're gonna um, search up starter character in the um, toolbox. I'm gonna show you how it works. So, here are some characters that we can choose to play as. Uh, we'll grab this dude. <laughs> starter character. So, all we gotta do is put him in the starter player. Um, I think we just put him in starter player. I think we do that and we press play. Alright, so cool. So, you put it into your starter player folder. The um, start a character and then you can play as him it's really cool so if you want like override your roblox character play as something different there you go you have like this cool like realistic looking model it's really cool so we're gonna try to make our own um i don't know really i don't know how to animate it properly so we'll do that in another video so let me know if you want to see, um, see like a part two or something let me know but yeah we're gonna try and do that we're gonna try to make a just a simple character and we're gonna play around as it cool this is going to be our character. <laughs> Just the head part. Oh my god, it's so gross already. Um, so we're going to rename this to head. Um, press Control G, turn that into a group. We're going to change this to starter character. And we're going to import a humanoid. There we go. So now a little, um, he's like, the title of the group has popped up above him. Pretty easy, pretty simple. I think that's about it, actually. Wait, should we? Okay, I'm gonna test it. So it's really easy, right? You just need something called a head, which is the main part, and then a humanoid within a group called starter character. And you put the starter character in starter player, right? <laughs> okay, so the reason I can't control him yet is it's missing a humanoid root part or a torso right here. So what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do quickly? Where do you go? We'll bring him back to the workspace. There he is. <laughs> Look how gross he is. Um, we're going to duplicate his head. I'm going to just delete the decal, decal, whatever you call it. I'm going to rename this to humanoid root parts. Okay. Really easy, and we'll just um weld them together. So we'll get a weld constraint, weld, uh, weld head to the humanoid root part. Okay. So the humanoid root part basically tells the game where your character is in the game. So that's why I couldn't move him around before. So hopefully, hopefully it works now. I can play as my really gross avatar I've made. So it's literally just a square. Look at him. He's so gross. <laughs> Look at that. And I can run around and jump. It's insane. That's so good. It's so gross. You can like make a meme out of this if you wanted to. But yeah. So if you guys want to like make starter characters like this, um, follow this tutorial, it's pretty easy, not, not too bad. I'll be doing a future one um, with an actual character, um, like an actual humanoid character, and we'll be adding animations and stuff to it as well. But this is a really basic tutorial on how to make a starter character and um, override your uh, Roblox character. <laughs> so yeah, hope this helps anyone, uh, it's, it's really cool, I think this is, I think this is really funny, but I hope this like helps some people out there trying to make games. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.